Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you back to another not quite daily. I got the hat on because I look like shit, and this, well, it makes me look ridiculous, but at least I don't look like shit. So, that's an advantage. <clears throat> and, yeah, so, uh, and this is another replay from the thread. Um, but before we go into that, I have two things I want to talk about. First of all, I just watched a game between DDoS and Fanatic Great Call, in which DDoS used it in the Forest Solo mid strat. And they didn't just randomly use it in Forest Solo mid strat, they used it exactly the way I described it in my video. Like, I'm not trying to say that they watched my video, they probably did not. Uh, but it's like kind of this hey, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, I, I actually got something right for once. So it turns out their strategy is actually viable. And our thing is. Give me a second. There was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, oh right, oh right. Uh, yesterday's video. That was well, supposed to be more of a public service announcement than anything else. And kind of got like. Some of you really didn't like it, and some of you really liked it. It's, huh? Oh well, oh well. Uh, leave me a comment like if you want more of this or if you don't. It's just yeah, I just had to get it off my chest. That's why I created that video. Uh, but today we are going to take a look at a game between two teams that nobody cares about. But this is the hero of today, the Witch Slayer. And we are going to look at how he plays now. Uh, before we start off the game, of course, like every game, we are going to take a look at the lanes and uh, taking a look at those, I personally would probably lane a bitch slayer solo and then have a sliver armadon or sliver rampage. Really doesn't quite matter though. A luna rampage seems like it's a stronger lane. No, like you send these two to the top and then you've got the dual slow bottom, dual stun top. Seems like a great idea and then you've got the witch slayer mid, but they aren't gonna do that. They are gonna send witch slayer as a support if you want to support with witch slayer. I would probably send the sliver solo mid. And then have a Lunar Armadon and Witch Slayer Rampage, or maybe even the other way around, like Armadon Witch Slayer. Really doesn't quite matter. I, I just am not a big fan of Witch Slayer as a support. On the other side, we got the Parasite. We, this guy is going to leave pretty early on. Now, let me just point this out. I usually don't like talking and watching about. No, no, talking about and watching games with levers in them. And I would. I I just want to ask this of you. Please don't submit replays with levers in them. It's just really nah, don't. It's it's just pointless. Yeah, a little well, most of the time. This time around, it actually isn't. Like I can still, I still do have a few things to say about the switch there, but usually it's like. Uh, Lever really that's not a true that's not a real game. It really isn't. <laughs> Anyways. Well the enemy got a parasite and Parasite Uh Parasite, Torture, a Chipper, uh, Pestilence and Rush Attack. Uh, I don't know. Either we're gonna lane the pestilence with the Torture or with the Chipper, depending on yeah, which one of those two wants to solo. Both work. I personally like the Torture more, but I, as a support, like uh, I, I don't like seeing which uh, chipper support. I just feel like the hero needs uh, the solo experience and farm. Uh, but yeah, so let's go into the game. And right at the start, we're gonna talk about the items, of course. Two wards, uh, or not? Uh, I guess not. Ah, uh, here we go, flying courier. That's nice. Uh, he shouldn't buy wards though. If he buys a flying courier, there really is no. Need for him to buy wards, and Luna should do so. She's gonna support, huh? So, uh, Luna doesn't kind of sucks. Huh. And I think he actually gave her a ward, so that's really nice. Uh, but it's just like mm, in a scenario like this, uh, it's just bait with buying a career. Like, wards are more important, and if you got a douchebag like the Luna. Oh well. Now, we're gonna have a fight right here. And there really is nothing he could have done. He landed a nice turn onto two heroes with the chipper rockets. 
all of the auto hits are just too powerful. So we need nah, shit happens. There's nothing to. Yeah, it's not his fault. Now they boarded this. Uh, this is a nice warp, by the way. Uh, if you just come into air vision, you can see this warp basically blocks the camp and also gives some nice vision. Like uh, this is a very useful area to see because you know if your enemy is coming in for a gank and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. By the way, I think that's the last time I can use that. <laughs> uh, for some odd reason, it's kind of buggy. It makes you place on uh, places down the water side, and this is nice. This is what I'm always talking about. One of the general rules: if you're at around at a, at a creep camp and it's around 50 milliseconds, just stack. It's free money. And he did that, so uh, that's really nice. And then we got the pestilence torture at the bottom against uh, rampage witch slayer. No, uh, I personally would definitely give the advantage to the pestilence torture. Mostly because I feel like which there is a garbage support and really not worth picking up if you're gonna play him as a support. On the other side, Torturer is pretty powerful. So, yeah. Uh, but. Uh, it really isn't a whole lot there. Now, this is uh, something I appreciate. I think it's nice. But he's doing it wrong. He got himself a Wall of Revelation um, to try and counter this one. Now just take a look at what he's gonna do. This is not going to help. <laughs> it's only going to well deny them their vision. But a lot of teams don't even rely on this wall for vision. That's not what the point of this wall is. Uh, it's supposed to block the camp, and funnily enough, the water revelation is gonna do the same job. So all you achieve is it's gonna be. Stackable at six minutes instead of seven. No, it's gonna spawn at six minutes instead of seven because Mod of Revelation only lasts three minutes instead of six. 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 Sorry. Anyways. Yeah. This is. Yeah. If you want to counter what it is, just gotta place it outside of the range. Out of, outside of the 500 radius. This is inside of the 500 radius. It's just kind of useless. But here we go. I appreciate the thought. Counterbot is great, but uh, this is just like, uh, really? Now, right here, he's just leaving the pestilence alone and. Not the pestilence, uh, the rampage, and just. Well, torture was gone as well, but is there really a reason for him to hide? Like, really? What 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 is he doing? He's just holding back so much in the meantime, rampage is pretty much in the solo lane. Before really having any chance because he's going up against a duel and yeah so uh, but he's now back into the, in the lane and it's nice and everything and the the one problem they got right now is that you really can't harass against the torture because torture is just gonna play not out to harass you that hero is just more powerful than most other heroes his armor is incredibly high, his damage is incredibly high and all of his spells are just amazing so yeah but no, Torturer left the lane obviously like he's gone how is that of relevance? Um, if you take a look at the lanes that are right now we got the Rampage and Rift Slayer going up against the Solo Pestilence the Witch Slayer just take a look where he is positioned. He should be, he should be uh, here. Like he should attack the pestilence and chase him away, make him go away. By the way, I don't know how many of you uh, know what you can do in Dota, but you can draw onto the map. I really want that in Horn, that's amazing. I really want to be able to draw on the map. Anyways, yeah, he can. He should chase him away because right now there really is nothing the pestilence can do. If he initiates onto the witch there, well, rampage is here to protect him, and you don't want can't initiate on, on two heroes with a pestilence. That's not gonna happen, especially it's early on. So yeah, he should chase the pestilence away. That's what his primary goal should be. Just take a look at what he's doing. He's sitting back. He's not even trying to have this. He's just sitting there. <laughs> In waiting for something now okay this is another thing skill build he got mana drain at level 3 I heavily disapprove of that I got a friend that pretty much only plays support 
and which there has been his favorite hero for like two years now and every time he sees an enemy which there he used mana drain early on he just laughs at them and decides that they are complete trash and it usually is true don't get mana drain it's worthless you want to get your other two abilities up first Really, mana drain doesn't benefit you in any significant way whatsoever. Just don't get it. You can get it once you are past uh, your other spells, but until level 10, don't get mana drain. Just don't. It's bad. So, yeah, he got a little bit of mana back. Great. So he can use his other now useless abilities because he doesn't have any points into them. But, yet again, just take a look at this. It usually is supposed to. Well, no, actually, he is, he is to keep, supposed to be in the front, he's supposed to scatter in the way. I know it's very difficult to go up against the torture and peasants. Oh, I think so. Oh, 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 initiation. Now, this is another thing. Okay, let me just pause at the right moment. Peasant's gonna go in right here, stun. Now, once you're stun, uh, once, once you're stun, versus off. Which is a little, little bit... Here we go. He's gonna use the stun right now, as you can see, the icon is glowing. It's gonna use it right now. Now, what is the best way to use the stun? I think it's pretty obvious. You want to hit the pestilence? Uh, it's just pretty easy to do. Like, just using the stun in the vague direction of pestilence. Like, you got a 180 degree cone where you could use the stun. Is going to hit pestilence. But you also want to hit torture. Like, if you're gonna use it, might as well hit as many targets as possible, right? It's just additional damage, additional stun duration. Maybe you can turn it around onto the torturer because that hero, even though he's a little bit more tanky than more strange heroes, he really isn't isn't tanky at all. He's very squishy. So, hmm. But take a look at what he's. He almost hits the torturer, but just it's only almost. He could have used it on just straight straight up used it on the torturer. Would have hit the pestilence as well. And stun two targets, and he wouldn't be in any trouble now. Here we go, torture is still coming in, activate impalement. Luckily enough, he did skill that instead of his other ability. It's just, it's just stupid in a lane, really is no point to it. You really want to max out the agonizing bonds. But maybe he's gonna go for that at level 4 to 7 or something like that. He really should max out agonizing bonds, like. Maxing. I'm not a big fan of maxing out impalement. I like, I like getting it over the sun. I think one point in the sun is you know, that's that's that should be enough. Quite honestly, like I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of getting more, more than that. But, but yeah, no, this rampage uh, is very very nice, very aggressive. But as you can see, it's just staying in the bag. And truly, uh, patience is actually getting free farm and. But honestly, this rampage is playing in a one v two lane, with without getting a uh, solo experience. So that's kind of bad for him, and I have to admit that. Like this peasant is playing, uh, not peasant. This rampage is playing really well, like really, really well. Quite impressed by that actually. Not so impressed by skill, but but um. The switch there is just, he's holding back so much, he should be trying to get some hits and he should be trying to harass. There are two roles for uh, support in the laning phase. The first and most important one is lane control, but they do have lane control, like the lane is in a pretty good position for them. Uh, the second most important role is harassment. And now lane control is of course very difficult if you can't stack and pull, so almost impossible actually. Pretty much is impossible, uh, but they they got like the best thing control they can. Have. But uh, <laughs> second role is to harass and chase the enemy away. And the switch there, he isn't doing that. He's just sitting back and waiting. Luckily enough, Torture isn't harassing either. Otherwise, Rampage wouldn't have this good of a game. And as you can see, if the Rampage gets too close, Torture puts in some hits, and that's what he's supposed to do. Like, don't just sit around doing nothing and. What are you waiting for? It's just like dum 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 Ah, here we go. It's finally coming back to lane. And yeah, just holding back. He had again play a little bit more aggressively. You're 
but he got mana drain at level three, which is like, entirely worthless. Entirely worthless. If you would have gotten the stun, it just may have been able to stay in lane. Like, he, I I know he's scared. He's scared, and uh, yeah, I got a re reason to be scared because it's fucking pestilence and torture. Like these guys are scary as fuck. But there truly is no reason to not do anything. He, now finally is starting to uh, stack and pull. Uh, that's mostly because he just was able to do so. Uh, so that's fine. And um, yeah, that's that's great. But it's just like oh, but they oh, you know, uh, he's done, he's so done. actually chipper coming in. Mm, oh well, uh, but uh, he <laughs> graveyard. If he just would have gotten a number point in the graveyard, he would have been able to help out early on in the lane. Uh, man, it's so bad. In the meantime, they take out the rampage. And yet again, let's just skip back and just take a look at what was happening. So, we are sitting here draining mana. Um, doing pretty much nothing, like getting items. And in the meantime, Rampage Shed gets destroyed. Which is just sitting here. Yeah, it's a nice day. and I really don't have to do anything. It's like, yeah, fun times. No, no, your teammate just died. Don't you, why would you let your teammate die? Don't do that. Don't. It's just, he's wasting so much time yet again. There's another guy that's not playing very efficiently. He's just sitting around doing nothing. You should be in lane and have all, uh, having all your carry. Unless your carry doesn't need the health. Which is fine if uh, your carry is pretty much free farming. Well, okay, let's go do something else. Uh, by the way, okay, this is let, let's finish this vault and then go into this scenario. And unless your carry is free farming, yeah, yeah, he really doesn't need your help. That's fine. Uh, also, also, if you're, uh, give me a second. <laughs> uh, also, if you're stacking and pulling, like, um, you should go stack and pull, but use the lowest the least amount of time possible like don't go stack and pull at 30 seconds don't do that you're just wasting time and your carry is well gonna die as shown so oh well now in this scenario this is interesting uh pestilence is gonna get slowed down and stunned by which there ah uh, by sliver and which there of course I don't see how which they would slow him down. But here we go. Now just take a look at this. Okay. Uh how much cooldown does this thing have? Twenty-five seconds. How much attack cooldown does he have? Um uh, move away, will you? Attack cooldown one point four seconds. Okay. So take a look at how long he does channel the mana drain. One second, two seconds, three seconds. Three seconds. Well, more like two. More like two seconds. Okay, let's say two seconds. That's, uh, if done correctly, if he is gonna use uh, animation cancelling, that's at least two more hits in. At least two more hits. Now, let's just take a look at what happens. Resonance is dropping. And, survives, 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 gets denied. This would have been a kill. This would have been a kill. Now let's go back yet again and take a look what would have happened if Pestilence had mana. So Pestilence already used his flight. He's gonna go on to the sliver. Now uh, impairment costs 115 mana. He's at almost 90 now. His regeneration is at 0 0.97. So that basically means he needs another at least 25 seconds, more like 30 seconds to be able to use his impale yet again. He's chasing down this liver. Gets his stun off. Well, I guess we can't wait for 30 seconds. It's just worthless. Don't do this. This would have been an easy kill if you instead of sitting there and using your ridiculous, stupid mana drain, you would have just attacked him. That would have been an easy kill. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why didn't you attack him? Why did you feel like it was necessary to drain his mana? 
He couldn't have used his impaled anyways. He didn't have the mana to do so. And other than that, what is he gonna use? Swarm? How is that gonna affect the kill? Uh, I don't get it. I don't. I just don't. So he's now in the lane. This is nice. He's playing efficiently right here. Sitting there, waiting. Well, not really waiting, but like getting all the creep kills he can as a support. You're not supposed to farm, but if you are able to get some creep kills, go for it, brother. Just go for it. Um, he should be carrying a TP and maybe heal himself up just a little bit. No, oh, well. So, yeah, he's just sitting in the lane farming. Oh, let's just fast forward through that. This is nice. He's getting a lot of creep kills. He's, I think he's getting all of them, which is great. You should be getting this is this is one of those scenarios I talked about in yesterday's video. You, you really should be getting all of the creep kills if there's no one disturbing you. Uh, if you got someone else in the lanes, of course, of course, if they harass you, then it's nothing you can do. But if you're on your own in a lane, you should be getting all the creep kills now. Usually, uh, well, this is another thing I appreciate. I I really appreciate it, but it's just like ah, it just may be overkill. No. Okay, take a look at this. Uh, he got himself a power supply. Great, best item in the game. Get it. Just play not get it. On any hero. Just get it. Uh, then we got Wall of the Side and Wall of Revelation. Now, Wards of Side? Great. Yeah, you're supposed to buy Wards. That's that's your role. Uh, but. <sighs> the revelations. They are great. I'm not gonna question that. And if you can manage to call the board, amazing. But usually in pub games. I, I just like, I, I don't want you to buy them unless you are. Oh, yeah, that's just bad. But that's a misdemeanor. Takes out the Pestilence and there's no chasing down the chipper. No. Yeah. I just came over. Uh. Yeah, but I really just only like buying what's a correlation. If you're sure that you can actually manage to find the ward, like this is this is nice. He got the ward, great. I appreciate it. Well, nice investment. But uh, what you're gonna do with it now? Like, do you know where they got their other ward? Do you, do you really know? Do you have any idea? If you got any idea, that's fine. Go for it. If you don't, well. Get a TP or something. Uh, yeah, here we go. He gets taken out in the end. Truly nothing to put at him right there. Yeah, that's just shit happens. So uh, let's go quickly through the respawn time. And here we go. He's back. He should be buying a TP scroll. He should always carry a TP scroll in any here. Yeah, that's just get a TP scroll. Uh, no, this right here is kind of like... He, no, <laughs> just take a look at this. And this is kind of ridiculous, but he places down a ward right here. Now let's go into Witch Slayer Vision. Oh, it actually worked. That's nice. So, let's slow it down. Uh, Witch Slayer Vision. He places down a ward. Nice. Nice. Oh, Chipper! Oh, Chipper! Run! 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 No! Oh. Really? Really? You, you could have avoided death right there. But honestly, just run for your life. It's, it's not war. Counter walling. Like, you can do it later on. Maybe even someone else can do it. Like, Silver, you can just face down one of his wards and the thing is the gun. So, yeah. Uh, but he's back into the, in the mid lane. My bitch is gonna charge him. Oh, well. Now, uh. We gotta slow this down. Okay, here we go. Rampage charging in reckless like every rampage ever is. Uh, it's ridiculously ramp um, reckless, but as you can see, he's hiding over here. No, is he even hiding? Yes, this is a, this is a nice hiding spot. So uh, we get that out of here. He's hiding over here now. Essence coming in. Why did he go out of here? Well, no. Additionally, additionally, this is another one of those scenarios. He walked from here to here. What if he would have walked from here to here and stunned both the patients and the torture? You always want to hit as many targets as possible if you stun. Your stun is not a single target ability. It's not. It's an AOE. It got a huge fucking AOE, okay? Use it as an AOE ability. Don't use it as a single target stun. Especially don't use it as a stun if your enemy is stunned. Like, 
I knew Nacha used this stun, so that's kind of basic stun. But uh, he would always just be able to take him out, and on team he's playing Squad, but on the AoE. Uh, heck, I'll do the Okay, come on, I'm gonna do a few kills, but I don't see him surviving this. Let's take him out by the heck. That's a genocide, folks! So very aggressive, but like, this is a very aggressive skill, but <laughs> my god, is that aggressive. Uh, oh well, let's just fast forward through the respawn time and see it again. I truly don't have a lot of time on my hand today. I gotta go to the hospital yet again and get the stitches out, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just like, uh, lol. Yeah, I guess that describes it pretty well. Hiding yet again. Uh, in this mall, oh well. Oh, this is nice. He's using invisibility to scout. Yeah, they spot the rage attack, just quickly go and destroy her. And he got possibly being very, very helpful. Now another problem I got with the skill build is he got two points in the window drawing. Just don't, don't. Hex is so much better. Uh, nice stuns coming out, mana drain using passengers. This time around I actually think it was in the boss thing that we could have done. So, yeah, they managed to get the kill, um, and maybe that mana drain actually helped out, but just a little bit. Maybe even a whole lot, I have to say, like he wasn't able to use his flight or his stun for that matter, so uh, that was really nice. But right here, using the courier to scout for wards. Uh, the, now, as I already mentioned, it's just like, I appreciate what you're doing right here, but... You just take a look at, like... They are not going to ward here. Like, they won't. Why would they? No, no, no. Why, why would they ward this? They won't. They are going to ward around this area. They are going to ward your jungle. Maybe up here. Maybe your ancients. Maybe the mid lane. Maybe the bottom lane. But they won't be warding. Uh, a lot of situation is going on. You see us going back. Now, right here, I feel like he should have gone in and killed the residents, but he ran away. No, this is, this is just one of those, yeah, that's a little bit of poor such a little bit of a pretty decision, but yes, that's a pretty, pretty difficult choice to make. So, yeah, he dies yet again, but that's to be expected, like, the reason the support heroes are usually under level and under farm is just plain old they die. Early on during team fights, and uh, that's where a lot of money and gold gets made. So, yeah, money and gold, but I'm talking experience and gold. Sorry, and here we go. He's gonna take it on yet again. This is another one of those scenarios where it's like, uh, the season of the witch is upon didn't you us. have vision on this? Like, here we go. Toshio's up here to conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, they are obviously starting to move towards you. Pestilence is incoming. <laughs> yeah, that's just. I, I, I again appreciate the thought. Like, great! Counter mountain, amazing. Uh, but. It's just. It was obvious that they're gonna get there. Don't risk your life for counter -modding. You don't have to. It's not that it's not worth it, but it's just like you don't have to. You got a sliver. You got more powerful heroes than yourself to counter ward. Just give them the counter ward if you really want to counter ward. But just place down the counter ward and tell them, here you go, there's a ward when you mind having it just a little bit. You're not on your own, this is a team game. So, yeah. Rampage, can't should be back alive. Uh, he picked up the uh, Neophyte's book and I think he's going for Tablet of Command, which is a great item, nothing wrong with that. There truly is nothing wrong with that, just Tablet of Command, amazing. I maybe would have liked to see Grave Locket, invest into something cheap like Grave Locket. Maybe even a full sacrificial stone, I just think it's that amazing of an item. But yeah, Temple of Command is just fine with me. It's a utility item. You can always use utility items. Uh, this again is nice. Using the item right away instead of waiting for the last hit. It's not about stealing. It's about making sure you are getting the kill. 
And yeah, so they're just still running around. Taken out, I think. Yeah, so Chipper. And let's just go even faster. Mm -hmm. Running around, really not doing anything. It's just yeah, this right here is not even that bad. This is not playing inefficiently. This is playing support because you are not supposed to farm. You're supposed to stick with your team, and he's doing exactly that. So places a ward up there, counter warding. I don't think that was uh, tries to counter ward right there. But, uh, uh, nice hiding spot, but just still maybe in a little bit of trouble. Peasants, yeah, peasants picks him off. And yeah, what else is going on? Team is pushing in. Blah blah blah. So, <laughs> yeah. and here we go begging for a concede. That's just pathetic. Uh, but that's the only pathetic thing about this idiot. But I don't even know why I'm taking a look at this replay. I b I read the chat and there's one part that's just like shut the fuck up, will you? Oh well. So and that's actually the only reason why I'm still going with this replay. I want to show you that part. So nice counter warding going on. Yeah, this is really me. Just I like what he's doing. He's holding back. He's not being too aggressive. This is nice. Lands a nice gun on such a He uses all of his abilities, and once he uses all of his abilities, he's allowed to die. That's just the. Yeah, that's just what the support kind of has to deal with. He shouldn't be walking next to someone that has swarm on himself. But uh, now, the thing is. Uh, it's nice that he's counter warding, but truly, like, they ain't gonna have a ward up here. Like, that's just. No. Why would they? So. It's nice, but he's kind of investing a little bit too much money into counter warding. He's just. He's going overkill with it. He is the same as I am. I, I got two modes. I got either, either 0%, either I really just don't wanna deal with anything like that and just leave me the fuck alone. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Or I've got 100%, I'm gonna spend all the efforts I could possibly spend on that. On that. <laughs> so, yeah. And he's in a 100% mode, like he's gonna spend all of his money on wards. And that's nice, that's what you're supposed to do, but it's just like a little bit overkill what you're doing right here, brother. Brother, you're going too far. You much should maybe just take a little bit of a break and invest into some items. Let me give you a general rule to live by. Only counter mod if you actually suspect, if you got any anything that indicates that a ward is placed over there. This was by the way nice, he's almost done with 12 targets, using minute grenade yet again, he's just kind of wasting his time. Uh, Stan is peace dropping pretty low, uses the argument hack, it's gonna go down. And yeah, so, mid lane is gonna get pushed in. Uh, finally picks up the title of command. That's nice. But yeah, yeah, it's just like a general rule. Don't just place walls everywhere. That's that's. It's. A, I like the thought, and uh, I really appreciate it. It's like if I would have you in my game, I would be like. I love you, but you're stupid. I love you, but you're stupid, and I love you because you are stupid. So, yeah. He's just going overkill. Playing out overkill. On the counter wars. Not on the real wars, like you can't ever have enough of those. Right here, he should use the tablet of command to shut himself over the ledge. Didn't do so. I don't think it would have made that big of a difference. But uh, maybe. Just go for it. Like, try it. Or if he would have just used the item in the passing, it would be dead. Oh well. Oh well. But you are always gonna take it look at the clock because I really don't have the I, I got about 10 minutes left and we gotta finish this up in 10 minutes so that's why I'm going at 4 times speed I just I don't have a whole lot of time today so that's what I gotta why I gotta do it right now and oh well shit happens shit happens I'm gonna take a 
Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So, push there. Just running around. Pick up the haste. Just go for it. Just pick it up. Oh man. It really didn't make a whole lot of a difference. Meantime, Congo gets taken out. They know this is happening, but the only one actually going in is Rampage. Congo is halfway dead. But oh, this is actually nice because of this world in here. What's happening now? Rampage. Getting pretty close to dying. TP stuff out of there. And that's that. Meantime, Amadon dies at the top. Okay. Oh, but yeah. Truly really isn't a whole lot going on. First event, going on to the chip. No, the sliver. We need nothing he can do. And these guys are really just a little bit split up. Like, they are getting ganked all over the place. So, yeah, but... Uh, uh, no, I don't, didn't want to pause. Uh, can I just... Oh, no. No, I can't go into player vision anymore. Stu, would you mind fixing that bug? Like, I just want to go into player vision. Oh. No. Why didn't it work right now? Oh. Huh? <sighs> oh, but I want player vision, anyways. So he's carrying around these wards, but the thing is, uh, the wards he plays aren't like the best. Just this is a pure hellborn ward. This is not a legion ward. <laughs> you don't want to place this if you're a legion. Like, there really is no point to this. This is supposed to spot legion heroes jungling but you already got vision of legion heroes jungling like you are the legion <laughs> why would you not know when you and your teammates are jungling yeah. i would like to see him play some mods maybe in the mid somewhere uh, right here they could gank the person because they got vision of him and that's not taking like they actually want to do so uh. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna push now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Push is starting. Wall of Death is already building up. I really like a Wall of Death. Like, a, this is a great pushing tool. Excuse me. It's just gonna take out the creep wave instantly. Uh, mm -hmm. Creep wave is down. This is where you could use the area idol. Uh, pass and the Which they are just. Uh, yeah, the, the one thing I didn't like about what he was doing right here is just he was using all of his abilities on different targets. I don't think it would make a difference. You know, Jack is checking down the rampage. Rampage is going to go down. And Amadon is the last one alive. He of course is very very tanky. But well he doesn't have any armor, so annihilation for the wretch attack. Uh why would they want to be torture? That's just stupid. All of you should get banned for even insane ban. A kick should kick should be taken out of the game yet again. Uh, if you kick someone you should have to write a free page essay on why you did kick him and if that essay doesn't like properly explain and justify the kick you just get damned for life just plain not simple i hate i hate these idiots that are like oh if you're going to win let's kick the guy i don't like no fuck you that's not nice you played as well without him you wouldn't have won without this torture these guys would no, no, the Sotra is playing me, you know. So. Oh, by the way, Elmond, um, like, let's just go into this. We need to, he should get a uh, demonic, like, he doesn't really have any armor. He has a 13 armor, minus 6 from Shipwrecker, minus 15 has minus 5 additional from demonic, so he's at minus 26 armor. He says it's gonna be at minus 13. Basically, he, he wants to tank me at all. So the person is going to take the Luna, meantime there's our hero. Now this is the scenario I was talking about, this is the uh, 
point of the game I wanted to show you. Now let's go back. Okay, here we go. We got a team fight coming up. up. Uh, Rampage, Luna, Sliver, Armadon, all of them are running to the front. That's fine. And Luna should be there. Nice, bad Heck, heck goes down. Now Rampage drags the chipper to the right. That's fine. And, he, okay, no, this is interesting. We got Wretch Attack and Chipper and going up against Armadon and Rampage on the right. Uh, on the left, we got a Luna and Sliver going up against the Pestilence. And then we also got the Torch and back. He's gonna go and be going to the right as well. And here we go. This is over Witch Slayer. Now, just take a look at what's happening on the minimap. On the minimap, take a look at the minimap. And then take a look at which, what Witch Slayer is doing. Ultimate Warrior! Yeah, he did nothing. Of newer. Literally nothing. Legendary. This was Nemesis. not a 5 before team fight. This was a 4 before team fight. And it's entirely thanks to Witch Slayer. So let's go back and take another look. This is a very important part of the game, actually. I feel like this is the part that won the game for Helmer. And it's entirely Witch Slayer's fault. Well, maybe not entirely, but a big part of it is his fault. No, here we go. Uh, you're gonna take out the ratchet hack yet again. That's uh, not very interesting. Part. Nice bad does. Now, right here, he could have decided to go to the right, and I feel like that would have been the right decision because these two guys should be able to deal with the patients on their own. They may be in a little bit of trouble, but still, just. <laughs> Truly, let's yeah, just, just go to the right. Go to the right right now. No, let's imagine. Chipper, gonna go down right here. Nice chipper. Let's attack torture, changing the rampage. And Amadon slowing down the torture. Just imagine the witch slayer being. This would have been so different. Rampage going to go down. Amadon going to go down. In the meantime, the witch slayer just running away, not doing anything. He could have helped out his armor, or maybe try to, they could have gotten a kill onto the torture, but he didn't help at all. He was just sitting there. And here comes the part which almost made me not take a look. Made me almost not. Made me almost not create a video about this replay. Too bad my team wanted to throw. Armor don't throw it. Then he went into the top, I mean. No, not really. Everyone's going solo. The only one, the literally only one that was solo was you. We had two, we had a split up team fight, but that's fine. We had a two on one scenario and a three on two scenario with Chipper going down pretty early on. So that was more of a two on two scenario. And then we had a one on zero scenario with you going up against literally nothing. Because he just sat there and did nothing. Fucking idiot. And here we go. Feeding yet again. Just ridiculous. I hate guys like this. They are always like, uh, but my team fat. No, no, you are the fucking idiot that lost the game. No one else. No one else. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's just... Stuff like that truly pisses me off. I, I'm fine with you playing bad. If you're playing bad, great! You're gonna get better sooner or later. There's nothing you can do about not getting better. And, uh, and there's nothing you can do about getting better. But it's just like, if you blame everyone else for your mistakes, you are not going to get better. If you blame everyone else for your mistakes, you are the fucking idiot that's ruining the community. This, I. It just pissed me off. Sorry, I really am, but it's just it's so fucking annoying. And I hope Kitty never sees this video. If she does, I'm dead. No, I'm not, because she owes me so many things. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. So that's actually it. Uh. I this, that's it for this replay. I really don't have the time to go uh, further into this. And it's actually over. That's all I wanted to show you. Now, uh, I, I, I really... <laughs> I gotta run, guys. I, I really gotta go. It's just really late. I'm already running late. Uh, so, 
uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time, I guess. Yeah. Bye. 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 And like my maybe this video, Facebook, and all the fun things. Yeah. See you next time.